In this free tutorial from the helpspot.com, we're going to go over how to configure Outlook to leave a copy of your messages on the mail server. So the first question is why would we want to do this? Well, in a previous, well, in an article on the helpspot.com, I talked about the difference between the POP and the IMAP protocols. Remember that when the POP protocol, the email messages that are sent to you are downloaded from the mail server from your ISP. So if someone sends you an email, and let's say you're a Comcast customer, it goes to one of the Comcast mail servers, and then your Outlook or whatever client you're using, Thunderbird, will then download those messages from the Comcast mail server to your local machine. And that's how it's supposed to work. The problem is, if your computer is set to download or check for messages, say every 15 or 30 minutes or every hour, which most machines are, uh, if somebody sends you an email, and your computer has already downloaded that email and you go to check your Comcast webmail, you won't see that message. So in order for you to make sure you don't miss any of those messages, what we can do is tell Outlook to leave a copy of the message on the server. So not only will Outlook download a copy of the email that was sent to you, it will also leave a copy on the server. This way, if your computer does download it and you are out on the road and you check via webmail, your Comcast webmail, you won't miss the message. The disadvantage of the system, of course, is that you may wind up with duplicate messages, but at least you won't miss anything. So let's go ahead and look at how to configure that. So the first thing we're going to do is head up to Tools, and then let's go into the Accounts. Now I only have one account configured here, and we called it the Work Email Account. Let's go now into Properties, and then let's go into the Advanced tab. And you see down here, there's a Delivery option. Let's get rid of these first. Okay, now. Let's click leave a copy of the message on the server. Now, in order to keep things clean though, let's remove a copy, I like 10 days. So this way, if you haven't read it in 10 days, uh, it'll delete it for you. You could leave it on there forever, but I like to have it, uh, you know, 10 days just to make sure I get it though. Uh, if I haven't checked it in 10 days, then something's wrong. And then again here, just to even keep it cleaner, remove the server when deleted from deleted items. So this way, if you do check it or you do miss it, um, you know, if you haven't checked it on webmail, but you do go to Outlook and you delete it on Outlook, then the server will know enough to synchronize it to say, listen, well, if you deleted it on Outlook, we'll delete it on the server online for webmail access. So that's all you have to do. Um, and again, that way you can keep using your POP protocol, you can keep using your desktop to download the emails, and you can also use a webmail client such as a Comcast webmail while you're on the road without missing any of your emails.